Hi, I'm Jay from Family Handyman. I'm going to teach you today about building a DIY platform bed. These are really great. They're low profile, can be broken down, easy to move, they don't require a box spring, and you can get it done in about a day. Let's get started. So here's the finished product. And if it looks a little small, it's because it is. This one's for a patio. Now if you want it to fit a full-size mattress or a twin size, just take the measurements from those mattresses and adjust your cut list accordingly. All right, since the back and all the internal supports are all exactly the same length, no matter what width box you're making, it's really handy to gang them together and cut them all at once. That ensures that they're all exactly the same length. Next, screw the sides to the back of the frame using inch and a half assembly screws. Now each of the drawer slides consists of three pieces, each of them cut from the same piece of lumber. The first cut is actually at an angle. The second cut, giving us our second and third pieces, we set the blade back to zero and just rip it right down the middle. Here I'm lubricating the edges of the drawer slides that are actually going to be rubbing against each other. And there are other options for lubrication. PTFE tape or paraffin wax uh, is often used. I like beeswax because it keeps its lubricating properties indefinitely. We want to pre-drill the oak to make sure it doesn't split and starting with the bottom piece we snug it up tight to the bottom of the frame and screw it home. You'll see I'm using playing cards as a spacer right here. This is a great trick. We can make it just about any size we need it to be and it's very repeatable and who doesn't have a stack of playing cards laying around. The next step is to cut our drawer box. I want to double check the internal measurements before I make the cuts for the drawer box just to make sure I'm on the right page. So for the drawer box in this bed, the sides and backs are at four and a half inches. What I'm doing here is ripping all the sides and backs on the table saw at four and a half inches. I'll cut to length on the chop saw. All right, next we're going to assemble the drawer box. The sides will screw into the fronts and backs. This is done first. We're going to take again an overall measurement of this once we've assembled it. That will tell us how big to cut the bottom. The bottom we're going to screw right to the backs and sides. No dado necessary. Now to properly place the drawer slide that's being attached to the drawer box itself, I want to make a mark where it sits in the box frame. Once I make that mark, I'll transfer it down both sides and attach my drawer slide. Next, we're gonna pre-drill the drawer box front. Drive two inch and a quarter screws through the front of the drawer box so the tips of the screws are poking out just a little under a quarter inch. Next, position the drawer face where it needs to be and tap it with your fist. The protruding screws will dig in, keeping the drawer box in place. Using a spring clamp or two will help your drawer face stay in place while you drive in the rest of the screws. Before we put the top on, we want to place the supports. Now these are going to be held down from the top about three quarters inch or the thickness of the plywood. Use two inch assembly screws to assemble these parts. So once we're done with that, we want to double check our internal measurements and cut the plywood for the top. Since this sofa is intended to be used outdoors most of the time, I'm sealing the gap here with a little caulk just to make sure no moisture gets inside. The cladding I chose for this project is 1x2 cedar strips. I'm using a spare 1x2 cedar strip as a spacer to make sure everything is equally spaced. There are a lot of online options for custom cushions. I chose a local upholsterer because I wanted to see and touch the fabric I chose. And there you have it, here's our platform bed. This is a great DIY build, can be done in about a day. Easy to change the dimensions to any size mattress you need. It's gonna add a lot of style and extra storage to any bedroom. For more project plans like this, visit familyhandyman.com.